the most powerful approaches to teaching history, to understanding the past, is the ability to reanimate things that have already happened and to be able to see those, those trends and those changes and those perspectives. Uh, 15 years ago, that meant having access to the puzzle pieces of the past, the primary sources, the documents, the archives, the things that professionals only had access to. Technology is an amplifier of what happens in the classroom. If it's used well, it amplifies the educational process. If it's used poorly, it amplifies the distraction and it amplifies the problems that are going on. But good teachers using good technology can do amazing things. There is definitely a gap between what students do in the class with papers and books and then technology. You need to bridge that gap somehow so that it flows in some sort of cohesive manner. The most valuable litmus test for technology in the classroom is whether or not it allows teachers to do something they couldn't do otherwise. I am not a uh, techie person. I have one computer in my classroom. We have computer labs, but they're very hard to get to. I was able to implement ChronoZoom very well in my classroom because of its simplicity, how easy it is to use, and because it speaks for itself in terms of what it shows, what it presents, and what students get out of it. Getting ChronoZoom up and running is really as easy as opening a browser um, because it's a web-based application. There's no, nothing to install. There is no question of hardware compatibility. It's a presentational tool. It can be used very quickly by a teacher to present. It can also be used by students to develop their own presentations, but it also is one of those kind of tools that is scalable. When I saw ChronoZoom, I couldn't wait to have my students build timelines. I designed a project in which they had to research a world religion or philosophy, conduct research, create a storyboard on a OneNote notebook, and then build a timeline in ChronoZoom. In my world history class right now, I'm using it to present about the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And so I just created a tour that I'm going to be presenting my whole class. The importance of ChronoZoom is tying the subject at hand to a date. So tying the political structure of the Austro-Hungarian Empire to a specific date has really helped me learn about it better because I've had to connect it with a certain point in history. When I first saw it and saw the zoom from the view of the whole cosmos down, 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 down into the view of humanity, I realized right then it was a magnificent tool for giving perspective in a way that you can't see otherwise about the temporal relationship between things. So ChronoZoom, what it does is it teaches chronology, it allows students to visualize history, and it also teaches cause and effect. One thing I always tell my students is that history is messy and chaotic. What ChronoZoom does is it allows me to visually show my students um, history and it shows them that mess but in an organized manner. Usually in my regular history classes, we would just learn this happened and this happened and this happened. But with ChronoZoom and Ms. Shires, she shows us that each event doesn't just happen like that. Events actually overlap and one thing might happen at the same time this thing has happened. ChronoZoom gave me the opportunity to place um, timelines into the hands of students that they not only got to see the progression of things changing and staying the same, but they also got to interact with history. You can zoom in into different boxes and it's just like different layers that you can go into. By doing this in our school, in our school setting, I think that you can not only learn from yourself and what you can do with technology, but you can also learn what other people can use and do with technology. This is the future of technology in the classroom. Natural interfaces like pen and touch, collaborative software like OneNote, innovative software like ChronoZoom that allows you to do presentations and put information together in ways you couldn't in the past. 